At the beginning of this year, PetroChina gained complete ownership of Athabasca Oil Corporation's 150,000 barrel per day assets in the McKay River region. The total paid more than $2.5 billion. And Sinook is now on track to make history if its $15 billion bid for Nexen, a Canadian oil and gas producer based in Alberta, is approved. This would represent China's largest foreign deal ever. But if is the key word. I looked into some of the issues Canadians have about Chinese companies taking over their abundant oil fields. Calgary, Alberta is an energy town. Shell, BP and other international energy giants have offices there because of its proximity to Canada's oil fields in the north of the province, the world's third largest pool of oil reserves. China, too, has made investments in the region, but it is seeking to increase that investment substantially through a $15.1 billion acquisition of Nexen, whose assets in Canada and abroad would boost Sinook's output by about 20%. The Canadian government is considering the offer, despite weak public support. According to a September poll, almost 70% of Canadians say the government should reject the Sinook bid. Well, as far as I'm concerned, I think they're going to take over everything, and I don't like that at all. And where do, where do the royalties go? What does Alberta get out of it? What does Canada get out of it? Economic expert Dr. Jack Mintz, director of the University of Calgary's School of Public Policy, is most concerned by the fact that Sinook is a state-run enterprise. When you look at the evidence over the years, uh, state-owned enterprises tend not to operate as efficiently as privatized companies. And I think that's an important question for Canada to ask. A company that is less efficient, Mintz argues, runs the risk of providing fewer royalties and lower tax revenues for the Canadian government. Those who support the deal say Sinook's purchase of Nexen will provide the company with more cash and thus the ability to grow, potentially in Canada. Sinook has said it would make Calgary the head office of its North American operations. Canada is currently analyzing whether the deal represents a net benefit to the country. Experts say that likely means Sinook will have to make commitments to keep jobs in Canada. It may also mean China will have to agree to open more of its stores to Canadian companies wanting to do business there. What Canada needs to be looking for from foreign companies uh, seeking to acquire Canadian companies is, I think, first and foremost, reciprocity. Do Canadian companies have the same access to uh, source countries as they do to ours? 98% of Canada's oil exports currently go to the United States. But Prime Minister Harper, who went to China earlier this year to deepen trade between the two countries, said diversifying those exports to Asia has become a national priority. So this is a deal he will have to consider carefully. Sinook's bid for Nexen also has to get the approval of U.S. regulators. That's because roughly 10% of Nexen's assets lie in the Gulf of Mexico. Now, in 2005, Sinook's bid for former U.S. energy company Unocal was struck down by U.S. regulators. So at this point, it appears that the bid for Nexen is far from a done deal.